Oh, okay, everybody. I think that you're, you all remember this one. This is my replica, the electric fan forced space heater. I just got this out of storage um, here just recently. Actually, I think uh, I think we got this out. I think it was uh, one day last week. And <clears throat> I bet some of you are wondering if I still had it. And yes, I did. We we held. Luckily, we held on to this with all the other good stuff. And from what I have seen, I got well over a thousand views and probably the most comments uh, out of all of the videos on my 800, 800 and something videos on my channel, uh, other than a few uh, fan videos. So... I figured that I would do a revisit of this, make another video of it, and like I said, you know, uh, I got more, I got more comments on the video that I did of, of, of the first and the, the only video that I did of this, and so, um, I usually wouldn't make a video, uh, of something that I got more, more views and comments on, but since, uh, this is, in my new location, um, I figured that I would do another one, but anyway, um, we got this out of storage one day last week, and luckily we, all we had to do to it was give it a good sprucing up, it was a little dirty and dusty after sitting in storage for well over a year, um, the comments that I got on this thing, from from what I from what I read, was people asking, "How do these heaters work?" And the best that I can come up with is that they they heat up a room, they warm up a room, depending on basically on what particular room they're in or how well insulated of, of, of a house that you may be living in or they work well in smaller rooms, I, I don't know. Um, I'm still learning more about these heaters. So that's, uh, um, just keep watch, just keep watching these video, these other videos on YouTube because, uh, there's so many questions that I cannot answer. All I know is that it's a uh, it's it's a heater with good quality, and they work and it warms up the room. That's all I know. But anyway, um, hopefully the lighting should be should be good in here. Um, as you can see, I have it in the hallway, and if you see up there, that is the the overhead light which is not working and we have plans to get that restored in due time so hopefully the camera will pick up well on this and I really don't want to move this because um because uh we had a uh, we kind of had some trouble you know getting this started up here also not to mention that uh with this being one of the very few functional outlets in the house working other than drop cords and, and strip outlets. That's another reason why I, I don't want to move it. Anyway, um, I'll just uh, do a demonstration on this. Everything to it is still well intact, well put together. Nothing was damaged upon being buried underneath uh, a ton of stuff for a long time also nothing is rusted um, through the, the fluctuation of the weather but these are the controls right here as you can see these are the heat settings that's a thermostat and the flame brightness so that adjusts 
you know, the brightness on the, uh, on the, the lighting there. So basically all this does is that it has the same function as a normal heater, but it's designed to, to work like, like it's an actual wood burning stove heater. Let's go ahead and let's turn this on first. Okay, so I'll set it on the low speed. I'm not going to mess with the thermostat because it's really not necessary. It's been cold here lately, but best just, just to leave it alone. So I'm not going to fool with that. Okay, so this is the, the brightness setting. I think this is just this is really cool how this works. And some of you who are heater fanatics, if you remember a lot of the vintage, I mean not the not the older ones, but I mean like the ones from the 60s and the 50s and 40s and 30s, 20s and whatnot. Uh, the the old gas burning stove like heaters. These are the ones that that I remember growing up. Uh, why I love this heater is because it just kind of, it just kind of, you know, how I just loved the, the, uh, the ember and the smoldering, you know, fire inside of the heater. And that was a big part of my childhood. And it was just, it was so relaxing and comforting. And they made the house, it, it was, made the house cozy. And so... Uh, I'm not, I'm not much into these old replica appliances like this. I would actually have the real thing if it's functional. But um, I just have a thing for these old, uh, for these old replica heaters. Let's go ahead and turn this up to the medium now. Okay, so that's where the fan is, right there on the bottom. Okay, so that's the high speed there. This thing is very quiet, not loud at all. It's almost as if it's, it's, a, it's an actual wood burning heater because it's so quiet. Turn the light off here in the back, here into the bathroom. sure if the setting is right on this because it says low there turn it down and it's like that's the medium so that's that's kind of strange I think it's probably maybe maybe about 60, 60 something degrees in this house. So if I were to adjust the thermostat, it's probably gonna 
really really not much of any need for it not unless if you're going to run it on the low speed 